Hey guys and welcome to the store review this week. We'll be looking at, looking at these Halloween items today. Well, this week it's almost Halloween and we're getting sanguine gift for the first item, which is way too expensive. But you do get a really cool helmet with the attachment, and it's honestly one of the best helmets in the game, I think. Um, it it's very versatile. It's like you can make it look like a vampire, like a bat, like a wolf, I guess, like an elite. There's a lot you can do with it, and some fits I'm planning to do with it. But yeah, you do get that cool helmet, and there's the armor effect as well, which is the horns. Uh, we have another pair of horns, but those are more like Japanese yokai type. This th this set is more of the classic red horns. Uh, it's more Halloween-like, I guess. And they're nice. So yeah, there's also the, the coating that you can see for both the assault ra- well, the weapons and the armor. Some black and red, but we do already have a lot of black and red. Or I guess gray and red, in, in this case. The chest is interesting because it's basically a blood bag with a needle. So you just like stick it up to your fallen foes or something, or maybe your allies, I don't know. And you stick it up and take your blood so you can augment yourself. A nice pair of shoulders, and I really like the assault rifle look. Uh, it does have that needle at the end and where the grip is um that part that's the blood you put the blood there so then you can put the blood inside of you like a vampire because this whole set is about being a vampire yeah who would have known and it has like these little side motion trackers i guess it's supposed to look like wings or something i don't know but i like it it does look cool i like the curve on top and what else do we have the visor, the bat visor. I do like the bats. Um, maybe it's not the most visible with the attachment, but it's kind of nice. Although red eyes would have fit better with this. But yes, a bat visor, which is cool to have like patterns, bat patterns and stuff. So overall, this whole set is pretty, pretty good in my opinion, but the price is too expensive. That's a really bad part about this. Super expensive prices, yet again, who would have thought? They really need to lower those prices. So then we have Pumpkin Spice, which is the next bundle. Still too expensive indeed. So we have that coating that you can see, the bats and stuff. It fits well with the other visor from the previous bundle, but again, that's a different bundle. So yes. And it also has, well, some stuff. But look, the chest. A lot of people like this chest. It's a pretty good chest, like these special grenade bomb things. I guess they're called pumpkin bombs or something. I don't know. It says pumpkin. But they do look cool, like high explosive. So it would look good with another coating too. Versatile, basically. There's the shoulders. So there's the armor effect, but also the shoulders. So, I don't know, this is like a candy dispenser thing, but it's like bad candy. Uh, I guess you could make the argument that it's like a charge of some sort, like an explosive charge. If you want to use like another coating or something. So you just take one of those explosive, explosive charges and launch it at the enemy, fire it up, I don't know. So that's the shoulders, and then we also have the armor effect. Candy corn. I don't even know what candy corn tastes like, and I've heard bad stuff about it, but then I've heard some people say good stuff, so I don't know. I don't even know what it tastes like, but you can have some if you want. You can put it on your armor as a whole gram effect thing. But it's a very Halloween set, so do wear this on Halloween. I'll be busy on Halloween. Then we have the, the weapon coating. A sort of uh, orange and purple, and some like blackish. Does fit nicely with Halloween, but it's weird because we'll talk about it in the next bundle. But this armor coating, keep it in mind. So yeah, um, the main thing about this isn't even the armor effect, it's probably the chest. 
the most versatile piece about it. But if you do want the nice Halloween stuff, if you've got more money to burn and you don't want the chest, then you can get this too, I guess. The bets and stuff. You know, someone should probably put on the, like, Halloween stuff with the... Oh, maybe I should do that. Halloween with um, Christmas stuff. Yeah. Hey guys, now we have the Halloween hero. That's the last bundle that's new. And... I mean, before we look at the bundle, um, yeah, my Spartan. <laughs> All right, so the bundle, yes, it it's basically the the coding for the armor for the previous bundle. So why is that coding not with the other bundle and the other bundle's coding not in its own bundle? That doesn't make sense. But also. Why is it 800 credits? That is way too much for just one single weapon coding. That is too expensive. That is bad. Bad free for free. Bad. It should not cost that, that much. It really shouldn't. It's overpriced. So, mm, yes, I do not recommend it. If you have money to spare, you can buy the second bundle, maybe... The first one is pretty good, still expensive. Everything's expensive. But mm, just a weapon by itself stuff. Mm, I don't recommend it. No, no, no. All of it is way too expensive. We will need to talk about it. So, yeah. I don't really recommend it, but if you want to, well, it's your choice and you have the resources to determine whether it's a good purchase or not. But Halloween and Christmas together. Maybe that could be a video. Alright guys, thanks for watching my store review for this week. And I guess I'll see you guys next time for another review of probably overpriced stuff. But who knows what the Halloween store might bring. See ya.